Toastmasters and guests present here on this joyous occasion, the charter meeting of Vasco Toastmasters. I am Toastmaster Varun, the Sergeant at Arms, or rather, today I'll be a flight attendant, in keeping with the theme of today's meeting, which is Charter Flight. I thank everyone for coming aboard and joining us for this journey of Toastmasters. Before we begin, I would like to request everyone to keep their phones on silent. Similarly, when someone is not speaking, kindly keep your audios turned off to ensure smooth sailing. But do keep your videos on as your beautiful smiles will encourage the speakers. More importantly, you may unmute your, yourselves for a round of applause for anyone who takes the stage to give them some encouragement. Now to begin, I would like to read out the mission statement of a Toastmasters Club. The mission of a, a Toastmasters Club is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. With the mission of providing supportive and positive learning experience, we start our journey of Vasco Toastmasters Club. And this club is a perfect blend of seasoned, yet, uh, uh, seasoned and new Toastmasters. To maintain the protocol, now I would like to request the area director, W2, Toastmaster Nigel Gomes, to proceed with the induction ceremony for the new members and subsequently the installation of executive committee. Toastmasters and guests, a round of applause. Thank you, Toastmaster Varun. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first charter meeting of Toastmasters, uh, Vasco Toastmasters Club. Now, to proceed with the induction of the new members, I would kindly like all the members of Vasco Toastmasters to kindly switch their videos on. Do we have all the videos on? Siddhant. Anthony, we can't hear Nigel, you. Nigel, I can confirm that all the Vasco Toastmasters have uh, switched on their videos. Is Nigel around? I think he dropped off. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, is he there? Okay. By the time Nigel uh, joins back, we'll do a small thing. We'll have the photograph taken. Okay, so since most of you have your videos on and uh, the others who don't, please switch on your videos. Meenal, could you help me as well uh, when I take the photos aside? Yes? Hello. Uh, I, can't I can't start my video because uh, I have some issues. Okay. Noted. Okay. Yes? So three, two, and one. Yes. Another one. Hold on. Minal, can you take, can you put the other side? I'll take a screenshot and save it. <laughs> yes. And again, three, two, and one. Great. Thank you. I shall quickly check with Nigel. Okay, since we have uh, a slight issue with, uh, with uh, you know, with the area director who's just, uh, whose call has been dropped, what we will do now is we will move ahead with the meeting. And uh, to do that, I would like to invite the Toastmaster of the day, 
Thank you, Ground Control, President Toastmaster Anthony. Hello, bonjour, hola, namaste. Jyoti, this is your. You don't know who you are. Uh, just a moment. Could I, we request I, all non-speaking members to please mute themselves? Anthony, make me co-host. I'll handle it. Yes, yes. Slide just a moment. There you go, Clyde. Yes, Eden and just want to say Eden. You can go ahead. Thank you, Ground Control President Toastmaster Anthony. Hello, bonjour, hola, namaste. This is your pilot, Toastmaster Eden and Fernandez, Toastmaster of the day, speaking. I welcome you all aboard flight VTM 001, that is Vasco Toastmaster 001. I'm extremely pleased to have you all on board. 20 enthusiastic crew members have been approved by Toastmasters International on the 7th of August to charter Vasco Toastmasters Club. We're all excited to fly off and you have all been a privileged ones to witness the first charter flight. Yay, let's have a round of applause. Did you know that in 1910, March 8th, Ramon de la Roche of France became the first woman's woman to fly her first charter plane? I am flying for the first time too. But don't worry, I passed all my tests and I have been approved by my coach, distinguished Toastmaster Jervis. <clears throat> the flight time, that is the meeting, is approximately two hours non-stop from prepared speech to general evaluation. The weather ahead is good and therefore we should have smooth sailing and an eventful flight. We are currently cruising at an altitude of 33,000 feet at an airspeed of 400 miles per hour. The time is 7.08. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the flight. To ensure that we have a pleasant flight, <laughs> we have loads of activities lined up. For the benefit of our first-time flyers, or rather guests, the two hours are divided into three segments, which is something that generally happens in a regular Toastmasters meeting. The first segment is the prepared speech segment. The members deliver their speech by preparing themselves according to the objectives of their parts they have chosen. Hence, this is the prepared speech segment. The second segment is the fun segment. This is also called the table topics or the impromptu speaking segment, where one has the opportunity to think on one's feet. And the third segment is the evaluation segment where all the speakers are provided with feedback, with constructive feedback, to improve on their journey as Toastmasters. Flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. Generally in a flight, this is where you would have to sit through the boarding safety instructions before you take off, but not in this flight. In this flight, we have three flight attendants who will take you through the set of rules so that your journey today is safe and sound. Our first flight attendant is the timer. And I asked him why he chose to fly with Vasco Toastmasters Airlines. And he said, I want to build my cultural intelligence and hone my public speaking skills. As this airline has diverse passengers traveling with it, it is the perfect opportunity to learn and grow. I agree. Please help me welcome the first Toastmaster, first flight attendant, the timer, Toastmaster Abral Sayed. Over to you, Toastmaster. 
Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Eden N. A uh, very good evening to our distinguished Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. I am pleased to be the time of tonight's meeting. Who loves delayed flight? No one. Hence, I'm going to help you guys to depart and land on time. My role is to keep time for all the speakers and role players, and to ensure that one speaker is in the allotted time slot. This will help us ensure that the meeting runs on time. To help me with this, I have uh, three cue cards. I will raise the green card. Abrar, you're muted. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I was... I just missed the last few seconds. Uh, is it okay if I start again? Uh, I think you can continue because we just missed the last uh, 10 seconds maybe. We heard okay. you. Okay. I am pleased to be the time of tonight's meeting. Who loves delayed flights? Absolutely no one. Hence, I'm going to help you guys to depart and land on time. My role is to keep time of all the speakers and role players and to ensure that one speaks within the allotted time slot. This will ensure that the meeting runs on time. To help me do this, I have uh, three cue cards. The green cue card will uh, denote the qualifying time. The yellow cue card will denote the midway target time. And the red cue card will denote the end of the allotted time. For example, for a five to seven minute speech, I, I shall raise the green card at the fifth minute, the yellow card at the sixth minute, and the red card on the seventh minute. After the red card has been raised, the speaker has uh, a grace period of 30 seconds to wind up their speech. For table topics, I will raise the green card at one minute. I will raise the yellow card at one minute, 30 seconds, and the red card at two minutes. There will also be an auditory queue for visually impaired Toastmasters. There will be a single cling at one minute, uh, two clings at one minute, 30 seconds, and three clings at two minutes. For role players, the time limit is two minutes. Uh, the allotted time is uh, two minutes. So I shall raise the green card at two minutes, the yellow card at... Abrar, you were muted again. Yes. Last 10 seconds. Uh, did you hear about table topics? We were, we were listening to that. You were saying that. Okay. Uh, for table topics, I shall raise the green card at one minute, uh, the yellow card at one minute, 30 seconds, and the red card at two minutes. There will also be an auditory queue for visually impaired Toastmasters. At one minute, there will be a a single cling for one minute 30 seconds there is going to be two clings and there is going to be three clings for two minutes for uh, uh, the evaluators and the role players i will raise the green card at two minutes uh, the yellow card at two minutes 30 seconds and the green uh, the red card at three minutes I would kindly request all the speakers to pin my video before you commence so that the timer cards are visible. Uh, I will present my report when call, called upon by the general evaluator. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Abrar. Our second flight attendant to monitor the turbulence is known as the R-counter. 
When I asked him why he considered traveling with our airlines, he said, it is a very joyous airline and he wouldn't get bored traveling for long hours. And customer service is first class. Please help me welcome the second flight attendant, the R counter, Toastmaster Swayam Naik. Over to you, Toastmaster Swayam. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Edenel. And good evening to my fellow Toastmasters and my dear guest. I'm Toastmaster Swayam. Uh, I'm Toastmaster Swayam, and I will play the role of an R counter for today's meeting. Imagine you are driving in a uh, imagine you are driving in a car race at 80 kilometers per hour, but suddenly you hit a bumpy stretch which changes the balance of your drive and makes it non-uniform. This would change the chances of you winning. Similarly, crutch words such as like and so you know uh, uh, filler sounds such as ah, uh, uh, and unnecessary pauses are the uh, are the bumpy stretch in your race to a perfect speech which makes the speech inefficient and underwhelming as an R counter it's my duty to note and make the speakers and the role players aware of the crutch words filler sounds and pauses used by them during the meeting which will make them uh, which will make them aware and a better public speaker when called upon by the general evaluator i'll uh, present my report uh, over to toastmaster of the day toastmaster eden thank you thank you toastmaster swayam now, our third flight attendant or role player is Toastmaster Meenal Pale, who is the grammarian for the day. Toastmaster Meenal is a content writer working for a Mumbai-based digital agency. And she said that joining Vasco Toastmasters airline is her way of staying rooted to her hometown. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Meenal Pale. Thank you, Toastmaster Edenan, for that wonderful introduction. What often happens on a flight is when the flight gets prolonged or if it's a very long or lengthy duration, we end up feeling bored, but not on this flight. On this flight today, we're going to learn a skill, a skill of listening. And that is where I come in, your grammarian of the day. As a grammarian, my role would be to listen to all the beautiful conversations or phrases used during our flight. I will also be introducing the word of the day. Please listen carefully. This is a word that I urge everyone to use in their conversation because that will help us resonate with the charter flight of Toastmasters today. The word for the day is copacetic. Copacetic. It's an adjective which means in excellent order. To use it in the form of a sentence, we haven't gotten lost or missed a flight, so our journey has been copacetic so far. I will also be putting this word on chat for everybody to remember, and I would present my report at the end of the meeting when called upon by the general evaluator. Sit back and relax. I now hand over to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Edenad. Thank you, Toastmaster Meenal. Now you may unfasten your seatbelt, sit back and relax as we begin the first segment of prepared speech. Our speaker for the day is a passionate Toastmaster since the last five years who has worn multiple hats from president to area director and currently serving as the division director. When I asked her about her vision for the term, she responded remembering her grandmother who used to say, if one throws a stone in Goa, it either falls on a church or in a bar. Her vision is if she throws a stone, it either falls on a Toastmaster or Toastmasters club. I've known her all my life 
And if I have to describe her in one word, it would be perseverance. Welcome Toastmaster Siona Fernandez. Before Toastmaster Siona takes the stage, may I request her evaluator, distinguished Toastmaster Farida de Silva Dias, to read the objectives of her project. Over very to you, good Toastmaster. evening. A very, very good evening to all the Toastmasters present here, as well as honorable guests. Toastmaster Siona is going to do a speech from with motivational strategies, level one, project two. Her title is going to be From Womb to Gloom to Bloom. The present speech that she's going to give can be on any topic. The feedback she will receive from me will also be applied to her next speech, for which I will also be the evaluator. This speech could be humorous, it could be informational, or it could be any style that Toastmaster Siona wishes to communicate. I will mainly focus on the organization of the speech and the speaking style. I'd like to give a very special message to Toastmaster Siona. You are now going to leave of your, I would say, comfort, you're going to unstrap your belt and stand up there and you're going to go into the wilderness of communication. We're going to hear a wonderful speech from you. And whilst you're doing it, you're going to discover a renewed form of communication. So I wish you all the best for the speech. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Farida. Toastmaster Siona Fernandez from Boom to gloom, to bloom, from womb to gloom, to bloom, Toastmaster Siona Fernandez. Am I? Am I visible? Yes. Am I audible? Yes. As a new bride, when I learned that I had conceived, I was on cloud nine. I could think nothing of but the baby and build castles in the air. However, during the first checkup, the doctor informed me that this could be a complicated pregnancy and that I could expect a miscarriage. I was devastated, but rightly so, as the doctor professed, the baby did not see the light of the world. With enough time, I was pregnant again. And this time, I was even more cautious. Every appointment with a doctor was overwhelming. But when I returned home, I was elated. Slowly, some complications cropped in. And I was given total bed rest. Although I felt devastated again, as time passed by, I realized that these were the best days. I noticed that my husband's family was extremely helpful. Furthermore, my best friend was always by my side. And surprisingly, they were those friends who I hardly spoke to. They would reach out and lift up my spirit. And how can I forget my neighbors? They were there any time I needed them. With all this support, finally, I delivered a beautiful, healthy baby on 7th of August. I, my heart will always be indebted to them. This is a story, but not my story. This was a case personified that I handled as part of my NLP project. But this incident I just narrated has a lot of common grounds with the birth of Vasco Toastmasters Club. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping the gift and not giving it away. 
today is the opportunity to hand over this gift to all those who made it a reality. Allow me to unwrap it. Last December, a thought was conceived. The first open mic session was organized at 1930 Vasco. We are indebted to Mr. Nitin Pandey. So, Master Siona, could you unmute? Sorry. There is some disturbance, but. Is it okay? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Continue. All right. Last December, a thought was conceived, and the first open mic session was organized at Vasco Toastmas uh, at Vasco 1930. We are, we are indebted to Mr. Nitin Pandekar of 1930 for being generous with one of his auditoriums to bring visibility of Toastmasters in the Vasco city. There was a good turnout and um, the talent that was displayed there was remarkable. The first pre-charter meeting was organized at St. Andrew's Church Hall. More than 25 guests turned up. And we thought, oh, it is so easy to charter a club. My humble gratitude to Father Gabriel for permit, permitting us to use his hall for all the pre-charter meetings. With this contagious positivity, we immediately planned the second pre-charter meeting. Surprisingly, as the role ga uh, players gathered, we were still on calls trying to get people to attend the meeting. But alas, just two people turned up. One of them said plainly he's not interested to join. What was more alarming was one message that we received which read, it will never happen. Don't waste your time. We were devastated. Was this a miscarriage? There's, there's a time, there's a time, both for sowing and for reaping. There's a time, time for losing, time for gain, time for joy and time for pain. Every purpose under heaven has a time. The subsequent pre-charter meetings were a blessing in disguise. We discovered that members of Toastmasters International Margao were very supportive. They were like the husband's family. <laughs> they were with us at every meeting, especially Toastmaster Narayan as a CT focal extended all his support. Members of ICG Toastmasters were like my side of the family. I could count on them anytime. Members of Goa YMCA Toastmasters Club turned out to be those friends who make the impossible possible. Members of Anapon Toastmasters Club were like those relatives who were just a phone call away. Members of Mapsa and Porbury Toastmasters Club were like those friends who we knew were there. Their support during the bed rest, I mean the lockdown, was like a stitch in time saves nine. Not forgetting my beloved neighbors, members of Siemens Goa and Teva Goa Toastmasters Club. They were there whenever we needed them. And my best friend, who was always by my side. We discussed, we planned, we executed, and we influenced one another so much that he got pregnant. And he's going to deliver anytime in Ponda, Toastmaster Clyde. Thank you. We proudly call ourselves Goa Toastmasters family. Families live in homes of love and support. And we have demonstrated with our contribution, which is all wrapped in this gift as a collaborative effort to make this dream a reality. 
Today, while the whole world is paranoid about traveling due to pandemic, it feels so great to board this special charter flight to celebrate with you with a heart full of gratitude. Over to you, pilot of this charter flight, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Siona, for telling us about the birth of Vasco Toastmasters Club. We now maintain a minute of silence for the evaluator to make her notes. In the meantime, I would request each participant present here to kindly provide her feedback to Toastmaster Siona on her private chat. Feedback is, a, is an essential part of our learning process, which helps us improve our skills. Timer, please inform me when the minute is up. Toastmaster of the day, the minute is up. Thank you, Toastmaster. We now have completed a third of our journey. Remember, we promised loads of activities? Well, fasten your seat belts. As my co pilot, Table Topics Master takes over the session. He has joined this airline that is Toastmasters because he wanted to improve his communication skills so that it helps him grow personally and professionally. Let's welcome my co-pilot, Toastmaster Clifford DeCosta. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Eden and Fernandez, and a very good evening to my fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. As a pilot, Eden and takes a quick bite. I'm going to take charge and make sure you have a pleasant and copacetic flight over the next 20 minutes. One of the most terrifying yet exciting parts of the Toastmasters meeting is the table topic session. The main objective of this session is to challenge and encourage speakers to develop impromptu communication skills and to effectively speak off the cuff. This section gives an opportunity to those members who haven't had a speaking role at the meeting. As your table topics master, I will be allotting topics to the speakers in line with today's charter meeting. You will be required to speak for a minimum of one minute and a maximum of two minutes. A green signal will be flashed at one minute, a yellow signal at one minute, 30 seconds, and a red signal at two minutes, beyond which you will be allowed to speak for a great speed time of 30 seconds. In case a speaker speaks beyond this, he or she will not qualify for the voting of the best table topic speaker. I also encourage the speakers to use the word of the day, copacetic. Before we go ahead, I just remembered our pilot, he Toastmaster Eden Ann. She must be munching on some ravishing food back there. I've got an idea. Let me make you an offer. Today being our charter meeting, I'm going to offer you some really finger licking good stuff. Are you up for it, Toastmasters? Even if you're not, I'm sure you're going to jump in your seats once I flash the menu. 
so that's the menu for you sadly we have only one portion of each of those food items so each one will have to pick a different food item so to do the honors i would call upon toastmaster nigel to choose any of those items from the menu thank you uh, uh, i'd like to take a beverage of diet coke great great choice toastmaster nigel okay your topic is if you had a time machine and you could go to the past where would you go and why if you had a time machine and you could go to the past where would you go and why thank you table topic master if i had a time machine and if i had the opportunity of going to the past i wouldn't go to the past i destroy that time machine quite simply because i am enjoying myself i am currently the president of anaphon toastmasters club and the area director of w2 and in the past i never had this opportunity and so i would not move an inch into the past because each and every one of my accomplishments has come as a consequence of the mistakes of the joys of the sorrows of what i've accomplished of what i feel and what i've learned from the past and rather i would sit down and have an amazing time with each and every one of you in the present at the moment at vasco tos masters club celebrating not just my journey but also the start of your journey as tos masters and so in short i would ask each and every one of you whenever you get the opportunity to look into your past of course it's great to learn from it but don't live in it choose to live in the present and celebrate life because it is in the present where you will find the joy in order to live your life to the fullest over to you table topic master okay thank you toastmaster nigel i now call upon toastmaster mukta to try out something from the menu so oh, i'll go for a cafe latte great choice okay your topic is if you were given an all paid trip to a destination of your choice to travel which place would you travel to and why thank you table topics master since we are already on a flight and on vasco toastmasters club flight i think everybody from goa would love to go to another beach resort so i am going to choose going to sri lanka as my choice on your flight sri lanka because it resembles goa quite a bit beautiful beaches pristine waters uh lovely people in fact there are so many similarities between sri lanka and goa the people are warm and hospitable the beaches are uh, beautiful the food is fantastic so anyone who wants to experience a bit of goa but in a new country sri lanka is the place of choice i have been there several times and if i did not have a home in pune i think the next best place that i would love to live besides goa of course vasco tos masters don't be disheartened besides goa it certainly would be sri lanka that is the place that i always dream of for its hospitality greenery beauty and wonderful people over to you table topics master
Thank you, Toastmaster Mukta Nathan. Now I call upon Toastmaster Bryce D'Souza to try out something from the main room. Okay, I would like to try out the chicken croissant. Yeah, sorry, not chicken croissant, cheese croissant. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So Bryce, your topic is my fondest travel memory. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I have had a lot of memories where I have traveled with my uh, parents and my sister. We had gone to a lot of countries around the world. But the best place we have uh, traveled to, like I, in my whole life, the best place I've ever traveled to was in Austria. Austria is known uh, known to be the place where uh, where uh, Mozart is uh, thought to have composed his uh, famous songs, uh, famous songs. So we visited the place. We got to see the opera. We got to taste their famous uh, marzipan chocolates, and uh, we also got to see many other beautiful attractions over there. So it was a place that we uh, that we cherished, and till now I can still remember. I uh, I can still think of the great memories we had over there and uh, so this is one of the one of the places that i've uh, uh, the best places that i've ever visited so far to all the travels that i've had thank you and i hand it over to the tmod thank you toastmaster bryce i now request our guest miss anisha to pick out something from the menu. Hi, uh, I would pick mineral water. Okay, great. Anisha, your topic is a trip that I would make twice. A trip that I would make twice, okay. Um, hi everyone. Um, I do enjoy traveling a lot, so there are many memorable trips that I've made in the past. But I think given in the current uh, situation, one that I would like to do again is a trip I did two years back where I went for this music festival, uh, which had about <coughs> 200,000 people in one place listening to music and just enjoying it. This was in Denmark and uh, it was pretty awesome and I can't imagine being in such a crowded place again, like in the given um, current scenario. But yeah, that is a trip that I would like to do once again, maybe once the vaccine is, uh, and we can all, you know, gather together in person. Thank you. Anisha, if you could just maybe add some more details, you okay. would qualify for the voting as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Um, Okay, so uh, to add to that was, you know, staying in a tent for seven days, uh, having uh, rainfall and water entering the tent. So that wasn't so pleasant, but just everyone together in one place, you know, just enjoying the music uh, and being in the music and in the moment. Yeah. And the sun shining sometimes and there was a lake right near the festival where we would go in the day and, you know, just... Uh, relax over there. So just that entire picture, I would love to do that again. Is that? Yes. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you, Anisha. Thank you. Now I call upon another guest, uh, Mr. Pranav. Go ahead and pick something. Hello, everyone. Uh, I would like a cheesy club sandwich. Chicken club sandwich. Sorry. Great. Okay. Yeah. So, sure, sure. Okay. Your topic, Pranav, is what would you choose? Planned trips or backpacking? Okay. Uh, Planned trips or backpacking? Uh, 
yes first of all a very hearty congratulations for uh vasco toast masters club and uh going ahead with the topic i would like to say like uh i like to plan my trips uh beforehand because there's always a possibility that whenever you go to a city you do not know how you'll spend your day you'll uh, uh it's always great to have uh, possibilities which uh, could crop in at any uh, point in your trip but before going to any place you should know the basic things that you should visit and why are you in that club uh in that place right so i would like to say that a planned trip is always better than a uh, backpacking trip and if uh, even if uh, your plans don't work out you'll always have something or the other uh, that will take you forward that will attract you at that very moment so thank you so much and with that over to you uh, table topics master yes thank you pranav now i would like some volunteers to come ahead and choose something hello it's me akshay here from goa ymca christmas club hello this is akshay yes. here um hello but yes, i akshay. can't see the me- go ahead i can't see the menu uh, will you please uh, tell me the menus uh, so that i can pick up because i can't see the menu hello uh toastmaster anthony yeah so toastmaster akshay would you like to uh, look into beverages or veg delights or some meat uh, meaty delights yes uh which one would you veg. like veg right okay uh, in yeah, veg i like to um yeah uh, this okay. uh delight second one the veg delight Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. So Akshay, I you, you have three options. One thing is a, a quicker masala oats. The second one is grilled veg sandwich, is multigrain bread, and the third thing is spinach corn and cheese sandwich. Which one would you like to have? First, second, or third? I like to yeah. I like to go with the quicker masala oats. Okay. So it's the first choice. Uh, Table topics, Master Clifford. Take it from there. Uh, quicker masala oats. Yes. So the uh, toast ma- Table topics master will give you a topic okay. now, Akshay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, Toastmaster Akshay, your topic is. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, Toastmaster Clifford. Yeah. 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 Your topic is trips by planes or trips by trains. What would you choose? Very good evening, my fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. Trips by planes. is a copacetic example of traveling trips by train is also a copacetic example of traveling trip by plane is quick example we can travel and we can reach our destination within 1 hour i prefer to travel by plane sometimes it's very difficult for the poor people train though it's a copacetic it takes too much time i prefer traveling by plane is a good example it will save our time and it will be our copacetic journey thank you and over to you table topic master thank, thank you toast master akshay uh, before we go ahead i would like to confirm if we are on time uh, timer toast master abrad can you confirm if we have time uh, 
Yes, Clifford. Uh, we can go ahead. We have another five minutes. Five minutes. Great. Hello, hello. Uh, one second, one second. Uh, Toastmaster Abdur, how much uh, minute I took because I uh, did heard the voice as well because you are thinking oh. low. You can tell uh, me. Uh, 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 you have qualified. Uh, you have taken one minute thirty seconds. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Okay. So we have five more minutes. Okay. Anybody else would like? Uh, good Any evening, Clifford Manish here. Uh, can I try? Hello. Sorry. Is it time? Yeah. Uh, now I think I am left with only grilled veg sandwich. Sorry. Who is this? I am not. I am Manish here. Yeah, yeah Manish. Manish. Okay. 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 Great. Yes. Yes, Manish. Okay. So, uh, it is grilled veg uh, sandwich. Veg sandwich is... for me. <laughs> Yes, yes, I got it. Okay, so your topic is, if you could start a culture, what would it be? Basically, what practices would you would like to start? You should have given me a co-pacific topic here. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this is a little bit troublesome. Culture. Okay, give, let me give it a try. Uh, uh good evening uh, uh, to all uh, participants here and uh, sorry clifford if i have hurt you i just joked huh? please do not take it negative no problem okay <laughs> when it comes to culture i would prefer a culture which is pretty liberal liberal and uh, a culture wherein there is integrity there is a trust within the society people in general are sharing and caring we do not have any demarcations uh, when i say demarcations i mean demarcations in all respect whereas there is freedom enough to follow one's own beliefs and when i say follow one's own belief it means all beliefs that is religion caste creed the only limitation be that none of the acts or the belief should be such that it hurts or pains any other human being so in in a short uh, this i would prefer a culture which is human or humanity <clears throat> as a uh, general um, as as a general view wherein there is enough respect for one another enough trust in the but in time there is to express and live according to one's own uh, according to one's own uh, terms that, that, that nothing should be imposed uh, in all these things the most crucial uh, matter be discipline because ultimately if we are not disciplined then the whole uh, whole world goes stops to we which we don't want so there should be a discipline there should be an objective and also a life with content if if we are able to get into such a culture i believe uh, we have achieved what god planned while creating mother earth thank you thank you toastmaster manish i think we have time for one last table topic um any other any volunteers yeah can i try yes uh, Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I would like to have paprika chicken tikka sandwich. Great. Okay. Your topic is free food or free travel for the rest of your life. What would you choose? Hmm. Uh. Good evening, all. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate Pasco uh, uh, Dosmaster Club. Nice team. Um, so, coming back to the topic, I would like to choose free travel. And why? In our day-to-day life, if we don't have time for, uh, if we don't have enough time. Uh, to uh, for this traveling and stuff so uh, even 
most of the time we spend planning these activities because the reasons could be many like financial stuff or uh, any other commitment so uh, most of the time it is due to uh, financial risk so i would like to have travel as free thing in my life because food i can manage fortunately thank you what do you suppose must be thank you uh, so yeah thank you so much that was our guest okay we've come to the end of this session uh, i would like to ask the toastmaster abrar if all the speakers have qualified toastmaster clifford all the speakers have qualified and they are um, okay they are can we have the names of all those who have qualified yes sir uh toastmaster nigel gomes has qualified toastmaster uh, mukta nadar has qualified toastmaster brash disuza has qualified guest anisha has qualified toastmaster pranav gaikwad has qualified toastmaster akshay has qualified toastmaster manish unnitan has qualified and toastmaster siddhant has qualified so everyone has qualified thank you toastmaster abrar uh now i request so master anthony to kindly launch the polling for the best table top pick speaker Thank you Toastmaster Anthony We have now come to the end of this session I hope it was a pleasant flight and a very copacetic one Over to you Toastmaster today Eden and Fernandez Thank you Toastmaster Clifford for those copacetic and sumptuous snacks That was very thoughtful of you. I'm sure everybody is full by now. I'm glad to inform you that two thirds of our copacetic journey is complete. Now I hand over to area director Toastmaster Nigel for the installation. Over to you, Toastmaster Nigel. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Eden Ann. I would request all the members of Vasco Toastmasters to kindly switch their videos on. and we shall then proceed towards the induction of all the members of Vasco Toastmasters club okay fellow toastmasters it is my duty and privilege to induct the new members into vasco toastmasters club this is an important occasion both for these members and for the club these individuals have come to toastmasters seeking to improve their communication and leadership skills and we now have the opportunity to help them learn grow and achieve i will now call our new members and ask them to place their right hand on their left side of the chest and to the participants in the room please withhold your applause until the ceremony is completely over so distinguished so these are the members the charter members of vasco toastmasters club distinguished toastmaster farida de silva dais toastmaster siona fernandez toastmaster manish kosalia toastmaster clifford de costa toastmaster manish unithan toastmaster aliro valles toastmaster alida de souza toastmaster shivani keni toastmaster saurav naik toastmaster rishab padie Toastmaster Tanuja Gons, Toastmaster Swayam Naik, Toastmaster Sanam Dabolkar.
Yes. Okay, Toastmaster Anthony, I believe that is not mentioned in the group. Toastmaster Anthony and Toastmaster Meenal as well. These are the new members of Vasco Toastmasters Club. Now, dear Vasco, uh, dear charter members, you are joining a worldwide organization that has helped nearly 3 million people learn to communicate more effectively. As members of the Vasco Toastmasters Club, you will benefit from a proven program of self-development. You will become a part of an outstanding group of people who are dedicated to helping one another in a spirit of sharing and enjoyment. I'm aware that the mentors have been assigned to each of the members of Vasco Toastmasters clubs. Mentors, as experienced Toastmasters, you have been asked to help these members, these new members, get off to a good start. Dear members of Vasco Toastmasters club, Membership in this club and in Toastmasters International is a privilege that carries with it many rewards. It, is also, it also places certain obligations upon you. We are all a group of people brought together to do things we could not accomplish alone. Our collective obligation is to grow and improve ourselves and to share our knowledge and experience with fellow members in a spirit of enjoyment. This means you must work diligently towards your own self-development, evaluate other speeches in a spirit of support and sharing, assist the club in reaching its goals and maintain a positive intent. We ask you, our new members, to dedicate yourselves to personal growth, to share this great gift with your fellow members and to help keep this Toastmasters club strong and dynamic. Fellow Toastmasters, of Vasco Toastmasters Club. Please repeat after me. In the presence of my fellow members, in the presence of, the my, presence fellow of my fellow members, members of the Vasco Toastmasters Club, of the Vasco Toastmasters Club, Toastmasters Club, Toastmasters Club, Club I make this my firm obligation. I make this my firm obligation, firm obligation to attend meetings regularly. To attend the meetings regularly. And prepare fully for each assignment. And, and prepare fully for each assignment. Each assignment. To, apply myself, to apply myself to the requirements outlined in to the, to the requirements outlined in the Toastmasters educational program. Toastmasters educational program. To regularly and fully. To regularly, to regularly and, and fully, fully participate in club activities. Participate, participate in, in club, club activities. activities. To evaluate others. To evaluate, to evaluate others, others, others in a positive and constructive manner. In, in a, a positive, positive and constructive manner. To build open and friendly relationships. To build, to build open and open and friendly relationships. relationships. With my fellow members. With, with my, my fellow, fellow members. members. Fellow members. And to bring, and to bring, to bring new bring. members into the club. To new members, members into the club. Into the club. The club. So that they can also so, so that so they can, they also, can also, also gain the benefits of Toastmasters. Gain, gain the benefits the benefit of, of Toastmasters. Toastmasters. Thank you. Thank Please you. join me in welcoming our newest members to Vasco Toastmasters Club. Uh, with that, I'd like to now install and induct the XCOM officers of Vasco Toastmasters Club. So the XCOM officers, could you all please switch your videos on, keep your videos on, raise your right hand, keep it on your left chest. Awesome. So, I have the privilege to install the officers of Vasco Toastmasters Club and to prepare them for the challenges that lie ahead. Their collective challenge is to make this club strong, dedicated to helping people from all walks of life to speak in an effective manner, listen with sensitivity and think creatively. I will ask each of the officers to 
to uh, so yes please place your right hand and uh, on your left chest as i briefly describe the challenges he or she must meet and the responsibilities he or she must fulfill toastmaster varun as the sergeant at arms you are responsible for the club property management meeting room preparation and hospitality toastmaster gopalakrishna as treasurer you are responsible for club financial policies procedures and controls you will receive and disperse with the approval of the club all the funds all the club funds that are paid to toastmasters international all financial obligations of this club as they come due and keep an accurate account of all transactions toastmaster edenan as secretary you are responsible for club records and correspondence toastmaster meenal as vice president public relations you are responsible for developing and directing a publicity program that informs individual members and the general public about toastmasters international and your club activities toastmaster abrar as vice president membership you are responsible for planning organizing and directing a program that ensures individual member retention and club growth uh, and growth in club individual membership toastmaster vishal as vice president education you are responsible for planning organizing and directing a club program which meets the educational requirement educational needs of the individual members and toastmaster anthony having been elected the president of vasco toastmasters club you are its chief executive officer and i expected to preside at all club meetings and at all regular and special meetings of your executive committee it is your challenge to see that this club enables its members to achieve their educational goals it is also your challenge to see that your club helps the area division district and toastmasters international to meet their goals you are a member of your team as well as a leader a team is more than a collection of people it is an emotional force that is rooted in feelings collect uh, feelings thoughts and actions of all members with the common goal of achieve of achievement sharing and mutual support with your uh, work with your team members to create a healthy dynamic club a club of which everyone is proud of so toastmaster anthony toastmaster vishal toastmaster meenal toastmaster abrar toastmaster iranan toastmaster gopalakrishna and toastmaster varun will you all accept your excom roles and perform the duties just described respectively to the best of your ability yes yes, yes i will yeah it is now my pleasure to declare these toastmasters installed into the offices to which we have i would i think we can all applause congratulations each and every one of you and now i would like to hand it over to the newly elected president of vasco toastmasters club toastmaster anthony for his presidential address and to you anthony over to you yes thank you nigel it is never too late to be what you might have been a quote by george eliot greetings toastmasters and future toastmasters to me the words of george eliot resonate hope ambition desire and more importantly opportunity the seed of vasco toastmaster club was sown long time back it was nurtured by many all these years it surely took time to grow but today thanks to the efforts of many like minded toastmasters and supporters vasco toastmaster club today sprouts with the hope of growing into a tree which will be strongly rooted to its values 
and provide necessary support to all those under it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm equally happy to start this journey with the team which is highly motivated and eager to draw the best out of their association with Toastmasters. The executive committee, along with our area directors, distinguished Toastmaster Jervis Pereira and Toastmaster Nigel Gomes, and the division director, Toastmaster Siona Fernandez. We are all ready to take on any challenges because we know that when we put our heads and hearts together, we can do miracles. Ladies and gentlemen, I must make a worthy mention of the support that the club has received in varied capacities from different people in the fraternity and outside, some of whom are present with us today. I would like to acknowledge the contribution and the presence as well of the district director, distinguished Toastmaster Nitesh Agarwal, program quality director, distinguished Toastmaster Vinay Srivastava, and distinguished Toastmaster Seema Rani. Worthy mention also of club growth directors, distinguished Toastmaster Sapna Ohri, distinguished Toastmaster Amandeep, and distinguished Toastmaster Joy Hans. Our hearts go out also to the immediate past district director, Toastmaster Venkata, along with distinguished uh, Toastmaster Mukta Nakkar, distinguished Toastmaster Dipankar Das, distinguished Toastmaster Ravi Sharma, and distinguished Toastmaster Mayang Naidu for all the support. It wouldn't be fair if I don't mention the continuous support of Toastmasters from my very own state, Goa. You all have been, you are, and you will continue to be the guiding stars for Vasco Toastmasters Club. In addition, I would also like to thank the guests who have joined us today. It may not be possible to take all your names, but you motivate us to put a good show every single time. And thank you for joining us today. Finally, thank you to all those who believed in me and helped me to see a leader in myself. I'm humbled and my excitement knows no boundaries as I preside over this club as the charter president. And as I close, I must mention that as a team, let us strive in collaborating and helping one another because it is better to have an endless life rather than a lifeless end. Thank you. And uh, now I would like to hand over the screen and uh, we would all hear our district director, Toastmaster, uh, distinguished Toastmaster, Nitesh Agarwal. Over to you. Thank you, Anthony. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. And it's a smooth flight by Ed. I'm having an excellent time on the flight. I wanted to remind why beginnings are so important. Because life is a succession of beginnings. Every day, every hour, every moment in life, every one of us is confronted with new beginnings. Most beginnings appear small and insignificant. But if we think about it, nothing could be further from the truth. Because everything that is starts with a beginning. The oak tree begins with an icon. The flooding begins with few drops of rain. The life-changing invention begins with an idea. The body begins as a cell. Mastership begins with the decision to grow into a master. And to become an effective communicator and leader, you become a Toastmaster. I wish every one of you who have chosen this opportunity to become a Toastmaster and become an effective communicator and leader in this supportive environment. An excellent hard work put by everyone to make this dream realize. I understand every one of you have been working very hard to see this day to ensure that despite what come may, we have a smooth flight and we take off. And I'm 100% will not meet the fate of MS370. I'm sure that this flight will always fly high in all its glory. I would like to leave with a quote by Mandy Hale. Change can be scary, but you know what's scarier. Allowing fear to stop you from growing, evolving and progressing. With this thought, all the best for your country. All the best for your journey and I would like to assure you that District 90 is, 98 is there to support you 
in all your endeavors, Angel and Jervis and Siona at your service. Thank you so much for having me here. Over to you, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster. I now hand over the session to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Eden L. Thank you, Toastmaster Anthony. Flight attendants, prepare for descent. As we prepare for the descent, we now have the next session. The third session is the general evaluation session. In this session, it will be led by the cabinet, the cabin chief, who was instrumental in filling the fuel for this maiden flight. He was assigned this task to check all technicalities, service, and if this flight is ready for takeoff. He is known as the general evaluator. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Clyde Dellis. Over to you, Toastmaster Clyde. Good evening, Toastmaster. It has been quite a smooth flight, and there was a little turbulence, but I think otherwise a Copacin proper Kessin flight. As we are waiting for our luggage and for the door to open while the plane is parking near its gate, may I request the flight attendants to give their feedback about this not emotion-filled and exciting journey that we had in this charter flight to the Toastmaster town of Vasco. So let me invite the first of the flight attendant, Toastmaster Abrar, the timer, to give his report for the meeting. Uh, Clyde, the speech yes. evaluator. Oh. Well, pardon me for that slight error. May I invite the uh, Toastmaster DTM Farida to give her feedback on the conception of this flight and the nostalgic history that it bear in the past several months. Over to you, DTM Farida. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Clyde. For a minute, I thought I had to parachute back into the plane. Okay? So I had a happy landing all over again. To you, my speaker, Toastmaster Siona. You know the title of your speech, From Womb to Gloom to Bloom, actually metaphorically communicated the anticipated birth and its initial pangs, the several miscarriages, and the eventual success of the birth of Vasco Toastmasters Club. I loved, I loved that metaphor, the way you have put it down for us. It was fantastic. It was more than cosmetic. In fact, I nostalgically had memories of my struggle when I was starting clubs in Goa. And, and believe you me, I sympathize with you during uh, the birth and miscarriage stages. You know, your passion and determination were communicated with so much exuberance. You even, I like the way you went into that storytelling of the cooperation and the support you gained from all the clubs in Goa, right? It clearly explains you had a great rapport and relationship with all of them. And that's how it was a result of something being more than copacetic. Just imagine a charter Toastmasters club today, Vasco Toastmasters club, ah, it's a thrill. My hearty congratulations to all the work you've done in it. Now, regarding the organization of your speech, the introduction, as I would say the word again, was absolutely positive. It transitioned smoothly right into the journey of the content, the birth, the death, and the reincarnation. And I deservedly enjoyed the flight and I'm sure everybody else did while they were sitting there listening to you. Your conclusion displayed so much passion in the success of the rebirth, and it re reconnected back again to the title of your speech. There was clarity in your pronunciation 
And I like the way you, you kept on maintaining eye contact with all of us turning left and right, okay? Imagining we were sitting physically in front of you. You complimented your speech with tremendous hand gestures. And I loved that song that you brought in. It was such a great precursor to the conclusion of your speech. What I was looking for was the pace at which you delivered your speech. That is the only thing I would like you to take care of in your next speech. I wanted you to be slow when you were telling us about the sad miscarriage, about the struggle that you were having. And then I wanted you to quicken the speed so you expressed in your vocal variety the excitement of setting up the club. That's all that I was looking for. And a personal message to you that I'm sure you will connect to. Curl like a cocoon in the mother's womb. Let her live and let her bloom. She's that light which you can erase your gloom. Don't let her die or you'll suffer gloom. And this is also a message to my fellow Toastmasters here today. Let us not ever go through the doom of letting this Vasco Toastmasters die. Over to you, General Evaluate. Toastmaster Clyde. Thank you, KTM Farida, for giving her thoughts on the in-flight entertainment that was given by the uh, main person who had brought this flight together. May I invite the first flight attendant to give his report? Uh, please help me welcome Toastmaster Abrar to give the report of the time. Thank you, General Evaluator, distinguished Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Uh, there, were, there was a slight change in the schedule, but uh, we were on time for the role players. I will, uh, here, is, here is my report for the role players. Toastmasters Swayam took one minute, four seconds. Toastmaster Minal took one minute, 20 second, uh, 27 seconds. For five to seven minute speech, Toastmaster Siona Fernandez took seven minutes, 20, 29 seconds. For the table topic speakers, Toastmaster Nigel Gom took one minute, 39 seconds. Toastmaster Mukta Natkar took one minute, 20 seconds. Toastmaster Bryce D'Souza took one minute, four seconds. Guest Anisha took one minute, 19 seconds. Toastmaster Pranav Gaikwa took 1 minute 15 seconds. Toastmaster Akshay took 1 minute 30 seconds. Toastmaster Manish Unnitan took 2 minutes. Toastmaster Siddhan took 1 minute 1 second. Everyone was on time and has qualified and, has, uh, and is eligible for voting. This is all from me, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster. Abra for the timers report. May I invite the second flight attendant, Toastmaster Minal, to give her report on this copacetic meeting. Thank you, Toastmaster Clyde. Before jumping onto the crew of this flight, I've been a content writer for a very long time, and words indeed are my weakness. On today's flight, I've caught hold of some very interesting conversations. And amongst these were some phrases and words that have truly stood out from the rest. Word of the day, copacetic, was used by quite a lot of people. And it brings me great joy to know that everybody's learned something new today. Used by Clifford, Akshay, Manish, Eden Ann, and Clyde attempted but yes, that does get counted. For certain words and phrases that were used throughout the meeting, Siona used the word elated and personified the concept of pregnancy. That's also a part of grammar, communicating through gestures. Nigel, the quote you used, learn from life, from the past, and don't live in it. Anthony, endless life, thin lifeless end. That is a quote that's definitely going to stay with me. Nitish, 
used quite a lot of analogies during his speech and that is something that grammar helps us distinguish those master farida it's always a pleasure to listen to you it's it's like a dictionary opens up itself with beautiful words like exuberance and percussive overall it has been an enlightening meeting and i believe since everybody did attempt using the word it has indeed been a copacetic attempt thank you over to you toastmaster clive thank you toastmaster minal for that excellent uh, report now inviting the final flight attendant who help uh, the food and everything in the background so please help me welcome toastmaster swayam thank you toastmaster thank you toastmaster clad and uh, and my uh, fellow toastmasters and my dear guest here's my our counters report toastmaster varun used noah noah's Toastmaster Eden N used R once. Toastmaster Abrar used R thrice and twice and so and so once. Toastmaster Minal used R once. Toastmaster Siona used and and once. Or Toastmaster Toastmaster Farida uh, used no R's. Toastmaster Clifford used R twice. Toastmaster Nigel used N twice, and so once. Toast Toastmaster Mukta used uh, didn't use R's. Toastmaster Bryce used R twice and once. Uh, to uh, guest Anisha used R once, and and. and once a uh, toastmaster pranav gayakwad used a uh, six times and uh, and once toastmaster akshay used a uh, twice and once and one repeated phase toastmaster manish used a uh, once and twice toastmaster siddhant uh, used a uh, once that's all from my side over to a uh, general evaluator toastmaster clay thank you thank you toastmaster swayam for that elaborate report now it is my turn as the chief cabin crew to give you my thoughts on how the flight went it has been the first flight and we have reached the local airport toastmaster town to begin with i would like to say the sergeant at arms toastmaster varun had an excellent start you opened the meeting well you also mentioned about the club mission so good job on that uh, maybe something that you could have implemented to make this theme uh, be complete was if you could make simple announcements like everybody could stay seated i mean muted people could switch on their videos whenever necessary switch on the lights you could use a uh, little word play and uh, could have made it a little more entertaining that is just one thing to challenge yourself but otherwise you did a great job coming to the timer toastmaster abrar you did an excellent job i really like that you dressed up well as a flight attendant that added more value to the uh, role you gave a good introduction and you also were pretty vigilant throughout so i really like that you gave the report well you were alert even during the table topics and mentioned as to how much time is available one suggestion for you would be that when you are showing the card it would it's it's a best practice that you have the card near the camera throughout so it's not that you just flash and keep it's because the speaker tends to get distracted and when they see the card throughout it helps them uh, realize they can check it again and again otherwise it was uh, well done the accountant toastmaster swayam i really like the runway analogy that you used it uh, was very nicely uh, fitting to the role that you played uh, maybe one uh, thing that i observed was that you were looking on top 
So it would be nice that if you look at the camera when you are talking, because we feel that you're looking at us on this virtual medium. And if at all you feel that you might have a little trouble remembering things, you can always have cue cards. There's nothing wrong with reading. If, if at all you feel that uh, it, you might tend to forget things. So that is one. Um, next, uh, coming to the grammarian, Toastmaster Minal, very nice thing that is uncommon and it does make us feel cool when we use it. The good job on that, you gave a very good uh, report. I feel that you could have paid a little more attention because I think I heard copacetic being used a little more. So it's just my thought, I might be wrong, but I feel I heard it more than uh, a few other speakers. But overall, you did catch some other uh, good usages during the meeting. Good job on that. Uh, coming to the person who gave us food, kept us full throughout the flight. Toastmaster Clifford, your card was wonderful. I really liked the way it was presented. The menu card was well done and it fitted the team, team perfectly. So good job on that. The topics were creative and interesting and you had a great uh, way to bring people up. I, I don't think anybody hesitated. So it was a good job on uh, playing the role of a table topic master. Uh, coming to the speaker, I think Toastmaster Siona, that was excellent. You put the story of, of the uh, speech that you presented today. I really loved how you related to it. You kept people confused until midway and then people could think back and realize what a journey it was indeed. So good job on that. The evaluator, DTM Farida, as always, you are an inspiration when you give uh, feedback and very nicely done. Coming to the pilot that has brought us throughout the whole flight. Toastmaster Eden and I think you were fabulous. The way you came dressed up, first of all, I think that set the whole mood. We were all excited to hear you speak and I really like the extra effort that you put and the different wordplay that you used to uh, fit in the theme. Good job on that and it was so nice to see a nice introduction being given to every person. I think you have a long way to go and you've taken the flight full speed without any turbulence. So good job on that Toastmaster Eden. Coming to the meeting as a whole, I think it's one of the best meetings that I might have attended in the past couple of months. Right from the agenda being released well in time, there were flyers to hype the meeting up. There was good PR. The agenda was nicely prepared. It was not something that is plain. It fitted the theme, the invitation, the poster. I could go on and on. Everything was spot on. I think uh, Toastmaster Anthony and the rest of the XCOM back with maybe Nigel and Siona. I think you are doing a fabulous job. And I think this flight, if there was a flight race, I think this flight would cross the other flights in Goa too. So you'd be the first one to resume during tourism uh, when tourism comes back. So with that, I'd like to conclude saying that I love the meeting. There's a lot to get inspired uh, when someone attends a meeting such uh, nicely arranged as this. With that, I'd like to hand it over back to the president or the TMOD. Okay, back to the TMOD. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Clyde. Your report was quite insightful and it will definitely help us improve. Although this was my first flight, I thoroughly enjoyed flying with you. Before I sign off from my role, we will quickly have the voting for the best major and minor role players. Today's minor role players were Grammarian, Meenal, Toastmaster Meenal, the R counter, Toastmaster Swayam Naik, and the timer, Toastmaster Abrar. And the ma major roles, table topics master, Toastmaster Clifford, general evaluator, Toastmaster Clyde, and table top, uh, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Edelan. You will find the polls on your screen. Kindly vote for the best major and minor roles.
Thank you, everyone. We are almost landing. And we, before we disembark, please fill up the feedback form in the link provided in the chat. This will take just a few minutes. As I sign off, I wish you a pleasant stay. You all have been wonderful passengers. I hope you wish to fly with the VTM flight again. Be safe until we meet again. Over to you, Ground Control, President Toastmaster, Anthony Gopes. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Eden Ann. Okay, you've, I'm sure you've already received uh, the links in your chat. Kindly fill that up. It has been a wonderful uh, meeting that we have had. I must acknowledge the ones who have come in blue and come, you know, to suit the today's session. I would like to also thank the guests who have connected with us and have been with us throughout. Now, before we go to the, the awards, I would like to take maybe feedbacks, a line or two about how you have felt traveling by this flight because um, we, need, we need your feedbacks to grow. And at the same time, my crew needs some appraisal. So you see, we need that, okay? So could we have maybe um, start with uh, uh, Distinguished Toastmaster Mukta, if you could give us your feedback and then we will take some more as well. Toastmaster Mukta. Thank you so much, Nigel. I was trying to fill up the form <laughs> when you just uh, called me on, but this has been a fantastic meeting. I, um, in the past year, I have been to so many meetings, charter meetings, and this was incredible. It is really like um, Clyde said, one of the best meetings he's been to in months, but this is one of the best meeting I've been to in years. So heartiest congratulations, Anthony as club president to the entire XCOM and all the members and to everyone who has supported this um, meeting. And to think that all of you were first time role players, right from the Toastmaster of the Day, Grammarian and so on, you were excellent. Um, table Topics Master, outstanding idea of presenting the table topics. So all in all, Nigel, Siona, and every member of Vasco Toastmasters Club. All your support teams, heartiest congratulations. I have thoroughly enjoyed being with you this evening. Over to you, Nigel. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Mukta. Can we hear maybe from the uh, club growth director, Toastmaster Amandeep Singh? Thank you, Anthony, for inviting me. So uh, I must say that when we used to have a chat with Siona, especially, you know, I used to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with her, what is the status of Vasco when it is getting chartered? And she used to always tell me, we are so close, like we are literally one, one step away, we are one step away. And then there comes the day when uh, it got chartered. So that, so I don't know if you, many of you are aware about this or not. So in night, the day it got chartered, that night only I called up uh, Siona and I told her that I'm getting have the poster ready to announce it for the Vasco and I'll publish it tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. it will be rolled out. Don't worry about it. So she said, okay. Half an hour later, I got a call and she said, okay, the club members are really excited and they want to do announcement now only. I said, that's okay, means they can wait till tomorrow morning. She said, no, we want to do it now. So I said, okay, you guys do it within uh, Goa family. And at district level, I'll do the announcement by tomorrow morning. And now looking at that conversation and attending the whole meeting, I, I can really feel up your excitement and your joy, how much happy you guys are. Because as everyone is appreciating this meeting, uh, Clyde said, Mukta said, I, I will also appreciate the idea. And I, I really want to know who was behind this, who was the mastermind behind all this, the designing the meeting poster, who was the main brain behind it, if there was some 
one individual or it was a combined effort by the team it was a combined effort we all put our heads together like i said so miracles i i, I really wish i see such miracles 500 more times or 1000 more times and as farida also said we never want vasco flight to go down we always want this flight to be fly high in the sky on seventh cloud uh, maybe higher than that so i really wish all of the members and excom uh, a very 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 heartly congratulations and all the best for all your flights and yes again a heartly congratulations to nigel jawis clair and siona thank you very much thank you to us master mandeep we i would like to also hear from some of our guests who have joined us some of them were joining for the first time to toast master meeting it would be nice to hear from you as well can we have just somebody uh, one of you maybe unmute and uh, tell us how you felt antony pratibha here yes yeah this is not the first time i'm attending but still since nobody picked up so uh, i was like 10 minutes late to board the flight but i'm glad that i made it it's a wonderful journey uh, like you i am also on cloud cloud 9 because cloud 9 because uh, i get to hear you and uh, it's very well organized very happy up to see all of you like that um yeah <laughs> c'est tellement content pour toi félicitations merci merci fadiba c'est un plaisir okay <laughs> thank you well okay so what we will do is if there's anybody else who wants to speak uh, you're free to do that if not you can leave your comments or feedback in the chat at the same time use the link that uh, we have shared and now i will move on to the next part and that is presenting the awards now awards are quite important i feel because they help us or they they motivate us uh, into doing better so today we have had various sections and i would like to present the first best table topics speaker award to somebody that you have chosen with the highest vote and that is toastmaster nigel gomes round of applause ladies and gentlemen congratulations toastmaster nigel hello yes okay well then we had the best major role player and it's my i'm i'm quite happy to to uh, to pronounce this name and that is toastmaster eden and fernandes our pilot for the evening congratulations to toastmaster eden and and the next role was the best minor role player and you all of you have chosen toastmaster minal bali as the best minor role player congratulations toastmaster minal congratulations to all the winners at the same time thank you to all the participants who have connected with us definitely it motivates us to see so many people connected and uh, it's nice to have the energy pulled together in one space so with this i would like to officially adjourn the meeting